Hi, this is Vince from Mr Telephone, here today to show you how these little crimps work. These are telephone connector crimps, they're for joining one wire to another wire. You get them in two wire and three wire, so you can join one wire to another wire or one wire to two other wires. They're also known as jelly crimps, telephone connectors, scotch, scotch locks, they're, they're, they're known as various, various different things, but they, uh, they're quite simple. They're a really, really good little, uh, really good little, uh, good little crimp, and they work really, really well. They're really reliable. Okay, if you want to zoom in, and I'll just show you the different types. They all do the same job. These ones here, these are three wire crimps. So there's three holes, so you can insert three wires into them. It's just uh, different manufacturers do different crimps. Obviously, the more expensive ones are better quality. Uh, but they, you know, even the cheap ones from China, they still do, they still do the job. These are the two wire ones. Also, they're filled with a little bit of jelly as well. So if you were to pop the lid off, you can see. Uh, let me just get a tool. If you pop the lid off, you can see that uh, there's gel inside there. I don't know if you can see the gel. And the idea of the gel is to repel the water. So if water did get into the joints, then at least this would do a, a good job of keeping it away from the wires, uh, you know, short term anyway. If it was submerged in water, it's not going to work. But uh, they are, they, they keep the dampness and the, the water away from the wires themselves. So you can see there, there's a little metal IDCs, just like you have on a telephone socket. So when, uh, when you push the lid down on the crimp, the little IDC, the little metal V, cuts in to the wire. So you do not have to strip these wires back. You just have to push the wire in and then you crimp down the lid. You do not strip the wire back. So they're really, really quick and easy to use. So I'm just gonna give you a, a quick example now. So I've got three cables here. Let's say to begin with, I just want to join this cable to this cable. So pretend that this is the external cable and you want it to join it to the internal cable. You can use these inside, outside, you can use them wherever. They're often used inside as well just because they're, so, uh, they're so quick and easy to use. So. We need to join the white blue to the white blue and the blue to the blue. So let's use a two a two wire crimp. So you push it all the way in. They're see through, so you can see that the wire goes all the way to the end. Do not crimp it if it's there; it won't work. Or if it's there, it might not make a good connection. Push them right the way to the end, and then you know it's fully home. Okay, and then get the the other wire here. You push it in, and once you know that they're both pushed fully in there, you can see that, that the wires are right the way in, you get this tool here. Now this is a special crimping tool, if you have a look you can see that there's a slot removed there. So they're like pliers but there's a slot removed, so when you push it down it will crimp the plug exactly in one go. So you insert it like so, yes, and then just put down. Often you can see a little bit of gel will come out there. So that wire now will be connected. Now, you don't have to use these, you can use pliers, but with pliers, because it hasn't got the cutaway, you're gonna to have to work your way around the crimp, crimping it down, so it's a bit of a pain, but obviously, if you only wanna join a couple of cables, you're not gonna pay 10 pound for one of these tools, when you can just, you probably have pliers at home already. So, they do work with these, but let's say now, if you were doing a, a joint with uh, 100 pairs, and you had to crimp 200, 200 of these, you wouldn't want to be using those pliers, you would want the proper crimping tool, okay? So you can see that, okay? Uh, again, this is just, you would probably have the same crimps, I'm just showing a variety of crimps, but they all do the same job. So this one here is a two wire one again, it's the orange one, but they're exactly the same. You push it in, all the way to the end, you get your tool, and you crimp down, like that, job done, yeah? Sometimes I do it twice just to make sure, but you don't need to. Okay, now just to show you how that is uh, connected, I've got a little continuity meter here. You can hear that when I touch the ones together. So I'm gonna go onto the blue wire here, and the blue wire here, and you can see they're now connected, and the white blue here, and the white blue here is also connected, okay? So, let's say now, if we wanted to connect on a third cable, so you've got one feed cable going off to two extension cables or to two other cables, you want to split the, split the, uh, split the signal going in two different directions. So just cut those old crimps off. Okay, now, again, they all do the same job, just different manufacturers, okay? So, 
This time we get the blues, and we'll also get the blues from this cable. One in each hole, okay? Remember, you do not need to strip it back, so these wires are not stripped back. So you don't have to strip them back to the bare copper. Okay, again you push them all the way in, all the way in so the wires go right to the very end of the crimp. And again, snap down. Okay, there you go, and the lid's nice and flat so that one's done. And now let's do the, the other side of the pair which is the uh, white blue. Okay, we use this little red one this time. So push that, that one, that one in the middle hole. That one on the end there. Okay, sort of run out of room here because I've cut them a bit short, but uh, you get the idea. You can hear that snap shut. Okay, now we should have continuity between all of them now, so let me just strip back a little bit of blues here. Okay, so again, so we'll go on the black wire to begin with, onto the blue, and we should have, are we on the blue there, we're on that one there, and the blue here. Okay, and if we went onto the white blue, we will now have it on the white blue there, and the white blue there. So they're really, really easy to use, and uh, yeah, they're so reliable. Once you crimp, you know the job's done, you haven't got to be twisting wires or using annoying screw terminals. It's just nice and easy to do. Generally speaking, they do from 0.4 millimeters to 0.9 millimeters. Telephone cable and data cables, 0.5 millimeters in diameter. So they do quite a wide range. Normally, I just use them for telecoms, but some people you, you do use them for other low voltage projects as well. They mustn't be used with electricity. This is all to do with uh, low voltage. So uh, yeah, uh, from 0.4 millimeters to 0.9 millimeters. Again, if you did want to buy these, I do have them on my uh, eBay shop, Mr. Telephone, www.mrtelephone.co.uk. Uh, yeah, and that's it, a great little connector. I hope to do other videos in the future with other telecom products that I sell. Thanks for watching. Bye now.